The surface of the Earth consists of around 15 tectonic plates, which are constantly moving and interacting in different ways. Some parts of the plates are made up of continents and other parts are oceans. The place where these plates meet is called a plate boundary. Plate boundaries are locations of intense fracturing, and the plates in these zones are riddled with cracks called fault lines. Some plates drift away from each other, causing them to break and crack. When the plates get too thin, lava erupts at the surface and creates new oceanic crust. This is known as rifting. In other places, plates collide together. When oceanic crust is pushed against another plate, the oceanic plate will slip under the other plate and be absorbed into the Earth's mantle. This is called subduction. Continental plates are thicker and more buoyant, so can't slip under one another. When these meet, they get pushed upwards and form mountains. This is how the Himalayas were formed. But some plates simply slide past each other. This is called a conservative plate boundary. Tectonic plates move on average at the rate of around four centimeters per year. That's about as fast as your fingernails grow. The immense size and weight of tectonic plates causes high friction, where they rub against each other. For many years, the friction is so high, the slabs of rock separated by fault lines cannot move and they are stuck. Because tectonic plates are moving, pressure builds until eventually the friction between the rock slabs is overcome and they move in a sudden, violent motion. The magnitude of an earthquake depends on the size of the fault and how far the slabs of rock move when it finally goes. In the largest earthquakes, the slabs of rock at the fault line may move as much as tens of metres in seconds. The biggest earthquakes happen at subduction plate boundaries. The Sumatra Boxing Day earthquake, which caused the 2004 tsunami, took place along a 1,300-kilometre fault line and had a magnitude of 9.1.